Hey YouTube, it's Kesmir, and I am back with Firewatch. We just we got a we got a fire on each side of us now. I don't know, but let's see. This wave receiver is beeping at us. Let's see what it has to say. This receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? Are you drunk? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Oh, great. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! Don't do that! I know, I know. Everything has gone to total shit, but you gotta live a little. You gotta allow, Hank. No, no, you're right, D. I can't think of any good reason why you wouldn't want your decision making inhibited right now. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Oh my. Ay, ay, ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Green light means we're going in the right direction, I think. Um... Let's go this way, I guess. Heck is this? Shit! What? Oh, uh. bring it. Hmm. What did that say? Is that the key to the... See, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. Oh. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. What? I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you? Yeah, run. It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Run, run. Better not touch my typewriter. I just cleaned up the books.
I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. Should've kept your no. mouth shut. D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Should have kept your mouth shut. Should have called the police the first time. It's going to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight, from the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, would have helped if you would have just reported the teens in the beginning, but whatever. You do you, Delilah. Me and Bucket Jr. over here, we'll just have a good time. Yep. We got this, Delilah. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. That's what we're doing today. Mm. Yes, that sounds like fun. I don't necessarily think that's what I want to do. I think Delilah should come over here and she should explore the game. I don't remember this tree being upturned and uprooted like this. All right, all right. So, why am I, am I just exploring the cave because I have a key? I guess I was reading the notes on the desk. I didn't necessarily listen to Delilah. I'm kind of annoyed with Delilah. At this point, I'm just starting to tune her out because she just makes very stupid decisions after stupid decisions. Why would you not report the girls? I don't know. Looking for missing people and you, ignore it. You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. I don't even know how to call anyone other than you. 
And please, rest assured, I would have found someone with a better sense of humor a long time ago. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Should report you. Time really matters when somebody goes missing. You should, uh, you need to get somebody here right away. Everyone loves that. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please! Can't get any damn reception. This metal bars really cut it out. Jesus, this is a big cave. Very safe. We definitely won't die here tonight, folks. It's freezing in here. Very. Is anybody down there? Why is there a child's shoe down here? Can't hear me. Okay, there's just a random shoe down there. <laughs> Is that a power line? Heck yeah. <clears throat> I made it. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus. So, so you didn't find anything? No. The, there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Hello, what's this? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah. He built himself a real castle. A bunch of rocks stacked up. He made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I mean, he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Family crest. 
Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Oh, look, he's trying to get his backpack back. My rope plus our camera. Yeah, we got the camera. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily Coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. He made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. That little shit. There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him. You know, tinkering on stuff like that. Postcard to school, it sounds like. Oh, it's neighbor. Ranger. Dear Ranger, hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and return them to me, Brian Goodwin, in the in the mail? My address is Um If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You are probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip. So I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger. Brian, PS, the reward will be good. <laughs> That's adorable. He stole his dad's climbing equipment, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. Hey, we need these. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <laughs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. This is like a like a character sheet for Dungeons and Dragons, but it's for wizards and wyverns. Get a long sword, throwing dagger, battle axe, and a short sword. He's ready for anything with his studded leather armor. But he left a lot of stuff here. His homework and everything. Got all these banners he didn't put up. Up. 
Dead it. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy What's loves that? gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband, which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark. All right. I'm going to end this episode here, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.